this tutorial, we will continue with the sketch based features. Let's see how we can use the multi section solid. In order to use the removed multi section solid, we need to have a solid in the beginning. So, to create the multi section solid, we need to have two sketch. That's the minimum criteria to create multi section solid. So, firstly, we'll create a circle and then let's create a plane at a particular off offset and then we will sketch in this. This time, We'll create a hexagon. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to merge these two set, these two sketch together, and we're going to couple the points so that the circle merges the way we want. So, we need to have some insertion points. For that, let's get into the sketch, and this time. Let's click on the equidistant point, click on the circle, and specify 6 because we have 6 endpoints for a hexagon. Click on OK, exit the sketch, and go for multi section. Click the first sketch and the second sketch, and make sure that the closing point is on the same, almost on the same side, and almost showing the same direction. Now, Go for the coupling and click add here and slowly start adding the points. First point that you would want to add is 1 and 2. Then you can slowly add one by one each points. 1 and 2. Fourth point. Fifth point, and the last point. So we have all the couplings being done right now. Once we click OK, the as you can see, the circle is merged to the hexagon. Now let's see how you can use the multi section remove in order to use the multi section remove we need to have a solid as we have a solid here let's continue with the multi section solid creation now click on the sketch and get into the sketch and this time create a profile which has four edges. Make sure that the profile is closed. In order to do that, go for the sketch analysis. Make sure it's closed. Come out of the sketch and create another sketch here. This time, create a rectangle. Now we have a rectangle and a four-sided closed figure. Let's hide this to avoid confusion. Now we just have two sketches here. Now let's see how you can merge these two sketches. As I've shown you before, just go for the remove multi section and select the two sketches first of all and then go for coupling and then add coupling. Make sure that the close the closing point is almost on the same side. So let's do that first. Go for the closing point, replace the closing point, place it somewhere here, and show the direction as we have over here. So it's somewhere you know close by. 
and then go for the coupling go for add and then one and two click here one and two click here one and two and finally click here one and two click on preview and you can see that the two sketches are merged together and they have created a hollow inside a multi-section solid it doesn't mean that this should be always done in a multi-section solid this can be done in any solid that you have created with any other features like pad or so shaft etc so that's about the sketch based features let's see what comes ahead in our tutorials thank you for watching